Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you a real quick video today. A uh, real simple pattern. This is one that we just got back from our annual fishing trip up to Oak Orchard and um, new, up in New York, salmon fishing. And when you're up there, there's so many salmon in the stream that a lot of them get foul hooked and stuff. And uh, it's like they're carrying around jewelry while they're swimming up through the stream. And uh, one of the, some of the jewelry that I caught this trip was a pretty neat looking fly that i never seen before made with glass beads. And it's a sucker spawn style uh, pattern. So that's what we'll call it, the glass bead sucker spawn. You get the beads. I get them at uh, my local hobby store. I got these at Michael's, but you can find them at Joann's, you know, maybe Walmart. I'm not sure. My local Walmart didn't have them. But it's just glass beads wrapped on a string. I'll show you how to wrap them on there real quick. And uh, I saw lots of guys up there fishing with them. And it looked like a very productive pattern. And this color of them in particular really matches the salmon eggs. So I'm sure it would match real well for you. But try other colors too. I know I like to have a variety of colors and things. So I'm constantly changing. If one stops working you switch to another one. And a lot of times that's all it takes. If you're passing the same thing in front of the same fish for a while. Just switching up colors oftentimes really helps you out. So let's get into tying this, the glass bead sucker spawn. Okay, you can see how simple this pattern is. Very easy pattern to tie. Just a couple pieces of material, your hook, your beads, your thread, and some fishing line. The beads for this, these are um, 6 aught beads, size E I guess it is. Uh, Toho is the name I took, took while I was trying to open it up, the label come off of it. But they're Japanese glass beads. You can get them in a bunch of different colors. Um, this orange here, I think, really matches the salmon eggs that, you know, that we've, out of the salmon that we've caught, they'll drop their eggs and stuff a lot of time. And that's a pretty close match to it, so we're going to go with that. And the red thread gives you a, a vein look to, like, a piece of skein. If you want to, if, in essence, you're fishing a piece of skein on a hook there. So let's get into tying it. And um, we're going to start out by tying it on a size 12, 11, 20 Daiichi hook. And then for thread, I'm using 140 denier red ultra thread. And we're just going to start that on there. Next thing I'm going to put on is a piece of mono. And I'm just using a, like a 6 pound test. You can use a 4 or 6, something light. You don't need much here. And I'm just going to... You see how I put the long tag end on the back and I put the short end on the front and then I'll just tie that back over to get an extra tie down point there. And then we're just going to wrap this back to the back and I'm going to wrap it over the bend a little bit of the way around the bend there like that. And then we're going to wrap the thread back up to the front. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to thread four beads onto your mono. And like I said, I don't know if there is a simpler fly than this. I did see guys catching them on it. It seemed to be very productive. I know this would be a great steelhead fly. Uh, there was a good bit of steelhead in the stream this year while we were up there. So it was nice. I caught a real nice one. Um, I'll have it in one of my other videos. The picture of it. And then once you get your thread on there, you, you get these threaded onto your mono. We're just going to lay them over the top. And then I'm just going to wrap this down, and I'm going to get a couple wraps loosely here, just to get these tied into place. Then I'll pull on it a little bit to bring them up around the hook. And then we're just going to start wrapping in between each one. Okay, and that's going to space them out on the hook just a little bit, and tie them down. Alright, and then we're going to take this mono... And we're going to secure it by wrapping it back. So it's doubled over. And we're just going to cover up all these. Just making them tight on top of the hook. You don't have to be pretty here. I'll try to space them out a little bit. There we go. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's just emulating a ball of eggs. And we're just going to cover up all that mono and get them tied into place good. And then we'll tie it off. And if you want, hit that with a little bit of head cement to secure that there. And we're going to cut our mono tag off the back. And that is all that's tied to this. Like I said, very simple fly, and that's a very fish catching fly. 
the glass bead sucker spawn. Don't be afraid to try it. Hit your hobby shop, you know, your local craft store, or whatever. Pick up some beads and uh, have a few different colors in your box. Give it a try when you're out there for steelhead. And I really believe this would work great on the stock trout too. too. You know, it's a, the right color, the right size. So give it a try. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, a lot of the materials you can find in our shop for these flies, this one here in particular, like I said, you get beads at the craft store. But other than that, please visit our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're constantly updated with new videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger. Mm -hmm.